riding in my RV, my RV Wherever I want to be Cause I'm free in my RV it is once again that time of the year. Greetings from the 2024 Florida RV Super Show. And uh, today is very quiet because it is industry day, so we might be able to, to go into some campers. Industry day has its pros and cons. Pros, there's hardly anybody here. And cons, well, a, a lot of, you know, it's like a soft opening. <laughs> a, a lot of stuff doesn't have uh, pricing information and whatnot. But this is one of the units that I wanted to see because, you know, I saw it online and I'm like, we do want a tiny house for Pelicamp. And this is what they call this a destination trailer, which is like a tiny house, but it has holding tanks and it is more like, a, well, a destination trailer. A trailer meant to, to be uh, shipped to a location and, and keep it there, but it's relatively easy to move it from location to location. And uh, let me show you what it looks like inside. It's like a, it's like a tiny home, it has a loft on top there, TV in front of your sofa where it should be, and this table, you can use it to, to eat or to work. And uh, it's got everything in the kitchen here, in the galley. <laughs> would, you, would you still call it a galley if it is uh, more of a, you know, you have an ice maker, I don't know what this is. Is this like a dishwasher? There you go, front loading dishwasher. Plenty of room. Washer dryer here, combo. And your sink. You have propane oven and three burner propane. Regular microwave, no convection. Then you have a tiny little loft there in the, in the front. Or is that the back? So for recliner and uh, residential refrigerator, kind of similar to the one we have at the, at the Flagami studio, to be honest. And then back here at the bathroom. And what I mentioned about it being industry day and everything is kind of a, like a soft opening, there's no power in this unit right now. So the bathroom is kind of dark, but you know, it has a nice, uh, relatively large shower. Of course, porcelain toilet. And, uh, and then let me show you the loft uh, on the second floor right up here it's a little bit of a steep uh, stairway but there you go i mean you wouldn't be able to stand up here but this is just you know to come to sleep and you have your wardrobe back there you have a, um, a fireplace what do you guys think i mean i've been looking at uh, maybe this is i should have done it the other way i've been looking at tiny houses but this is not bad <laughs> Of course, as I say, as I usually say, more research shall go into this. Let's uh, continue. Let's continue looking at some other rigs here on Industry Day at the 2024. Did I say, say 2023 earlier? 2024 Florida RV Super Show. Well, here we have something new by Fleetwood uh, today on Industry Day. So I, I mean, this one does have the floor plans, but it does not have like pricing information yet. So um, it's a class B on the on the four x four Mercedes chassis, and you know it has the like the automatic door it opens by itself and all that. And in here, you know, the very nice Mercedes cockpit. We have a wet bath, which is, I mean, as far as wet baths go, this one is pretty spacious. I mean, I I fit, which is uh, good to know. And let me. Now it is a, a little tight quarters in here, so we have a small sink, we have an induction cooktop, uh, small-ish 12 volt refrigerator. And uh, back here you have the, the rear lounge that you convert to a bed, lagoon table, TV, a little bit of storage. We have uh, an air conditioner. So um, yeah. And uh, this is a new a new model here for the 2024 RV show so I wanted to show it to you yeah on the 4x4 Mercedes chassis and they have other models on the regular um, Mercedes chassis these are true class B's by the way true class B with a 
built on a, on, a, on a Mercedes van. This is a little longer. Again, you have a little more of a counter space here, but otherwise, and this one has a larger refrigerator here in the front. And uh, let's just take a quick look at the bathroom. Yeah, it's kind of dark in here, but it's very similar. This one does have a convection microwave up here. And of course, the very nice Mercedes cockpit that uh, we're gonna go into more depth later. All right. Let's see what else we can see. We are now at the Integra booth and Integra is of course famous for class A's, the epitome of luxury, as I say. But I saw this, another, I guess, is a, is a trend, right? Four by four, a Mercedes, you know, the, sh the short chassis. This is called the lounge. Let's check it out. And uh, at first sight here, we're already seeing, you know, the, the, the nice uh, newer uh, Mercedes uh, cockpit, which we're gonna uh, talk about it. Certificate Integra. I mean, these are, they look very comfortable. And this is different. Here in the back, we have like a garage where you can store your, your toys. I mean, there's not a whole lot of room here, but a couple bikes, but not. And up here, it's a bed that I'm assuming it goes up and down with a switch somewhere. And of course, this is the, this is a Mercedes chassis. So it's kind of narrow, but they have, you know, done this like, you know, I, th I think the, the, I think the one, the one a bigger Revel was the one that first innovated this, you know, make, make, making this a little wider in the back. So, so you can sleep east to west. Here, let's check out the wet bath. Oh, maybe. Here we go. <laughs> it's a wet, oh, there you go. And you can close your, your sleeping area. And this is a wet bath that can double as closet space. This is very similar to the original Revel. <laughs> anyway, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of glad everybody, you know, is kind of embracing uh, camper vans. Yes, camp, camper vans are, are a huge segment of the RV industry right now. And just for fun, let's see what else they have here. Because when I think Integra, I think something like a cornerstone. And this is, as you can see, has a tag axle in the back. So this is going to be one of those very nice units. As you can see here, you have a... Um, even has a medium bathroom and then you have your big let's 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 see what the epitome of luxury would look like and again we're in industry day you know and uh, everything is kind of dark but this is so residential and I'm not gonna go into every nook and cranny but just so you can get an idea of uh, what the epitome of luxury looks like yeah, I don't even see light switches anywhere. This is probably is controlled from a central unit here, which we have no power, so we cannot see it. Huh, that's a huge screen, like a Tesla. Look at that. That's the new the, the new Freightliner chassis. You even have like a, a wireless charger there. This is very cool. Very high end. Uh, let's continue let's see what else we can see uh, this is going to be kind of a sh short-ish industry day video and then we're going to go more into depth once we have uh, more information about all these rigs of course we're going to have to fight the crowds uh, to be able to show you all this stuff and it looks like it might rain wind is picking up i don't know this afternoon might be interesting well here we have another kind of destination trailer this is called the ibex rv suite and uh, let's check it out it's um I like the, the decor, very cool. And uh, let me just go in here. Here we have a floor plan, height 11.3. So this is not like, it, this would be relatively easy to tow. Um, here we have, I mean, the bathroom is almost too much <laughs> for what we need, uh, but you know, you have dual sinks, the medic porcelain toilet, nice shower. And for reference, as I always do, you know, you have two shower heads and yeah, plenty of room. You can be 6'5 and still fit in here with no problem. Here, here we have a, like a lounge, lounger sofa, very nice. 
and uh, the refrigerator it kind of has that vintage look and uh, you know for me simple is better this way to lock the refrigerator is a lot better than other ways i've seen and uh, this is very nice we have our convection microwave down here two uh, induction cooktops nice large round sink pretty good amount of storage down here yeah a real drawer very premium material and this in the back oh, coat hangers i like it this in the back is a murphy bed and i don't know exactly how this works because they have these two stools here so i'm not going to be able to put it down but you know i, I imagine you just uh, deploy the legs and it just comes down and it becomes your sleeping surface but also we have this here which is very cool for daytime use you have a, a table it's not the most sturdy thing but you could use it as a dinette with these high chairs or even to work you know uh, in, in our case for Ilya and I we do want a permanent table so this wouldn't quite work for us but I see it working for for some some people you know and then you have a like a little balcony back there it is um it is very humid this morning here in Florida but yeah this is this is a, a great looking unit here by Ibex I like it well this is something a little different at least a different look Okay, it says new floor plan, and this is Euro by Coachman, 25 EU. As Dell on the walls, very nice. Let's go inside and see. I like this setup. You know, if you if you're gonna entertain, this is the way to do it, right? With sofa and two recliners and the TV in front of the sofa, where it should be lagoon table. These are very popular. This is on a Ford uh, chassis here, and. Um, well, I don't have a whole lot of information just because, as you know, it is industry day, so there's not a whole lot. Do not remove until sold. This is suggested retail 219. I'm sure it's going to be a lot less here at the RV show. But, uh, yeah. A lot of counter space. Feels premium. Feels like premium material. Um, here we go. Here's some information about the, the 2024 Euro 25 EU. So it's a 7.3 liter V8. And, uh, well, we don't have a whole lot more there, but a dual induction cooktop in convection microwave, a resident, I mean, 12 volt refrigerator. Here we have, could it be? Yeah, dishwasher. How about that? Wardrobe closet here. And this could be pantry and wardrobe closet, I suppose. And back here on a slide is the bed. This is my only thing with these RVs that have a bed and a slide. It's great, but if by any chance you have to overnight at a place where you are not allowed to deploy the slide, you're going to have to sleep in the sofa. <laughs> Let's see the bathroom. Yep. Porcelain toilet. Pretty nice sink. It, look, it, all, it overall looks very, very modern. Everything. Uh, your medicine cabinet here. Nice, large mirror. Um, you know, for all undead. The shower, it feels a little on the small side, but let's step in. It has an oxygenics, which is always good. No, it doesn't, it looks like an oxygenics. It, it may or may not be an oxygenics, and that is uh, anti freeze. This, all these units have been winterized because even though it is not uh, very cold in Florida, well, yeah, if you're six foot, you will fit. Um, hmm electronic flushing uh, here <laughs> uh, even though it is not that cold in florida the, the the florida rv super show happens in january so it's pretty much freezing in the rest of the country and that's marisa <laughs> from less junk more journey <laughs> so here we are uh, thankfully indoors because it is supposed to rain out there any minute now and uh, we are at keystone and keystone montana has a new floor plan that it's you know, it's ma making all the buzz here when it comes to fifth wheels because um, well, the model number ends with uh, EB. I wonder what that stands for. All right, I, I'm Nick Ebenroth, product manager here at Keystone Montana, and I get to walk through with Robert our new 3623 e-bike floor plan. All right, let's do it. All right.
So what we did here is we wanted to take our conventional rear living. So pretty much everybody in the industry has a rear living floor plan that's similar to this, and it's almost all of our number one sellers. So it's a theater seat directly, directly in line with the TV, trifold sofa here, big island, and then we stretch this unit a little bit. So typically this floor plan is about a 35 foot floor plan, we made it up to, this is actually almost 40 feet. So we added some additional space. To do that, you can feel how big this is in here. And then if you look back towards the kitchen, you've got your pantry over here, which that actually has a dedicated spot for your Keurig or coffee maker. And then that other door will slide open for your pantry as well. So plenty of storage there. This is showcasing our all new interior for 2024 for Montana, which is a mixture of kind of a natural brown with our white cabinets and in the upper. Um, but what we biggest reason we made this floor plan this year was because we went ahead and pulled Montana and conventional fifth wheel buyers in general, and 75% of our buyers either own e-bikes today or are interested in owning e-bikes. So even if they don't have an e-bike, they're like, man, I'd really like to do it because we obviously know that's the that's the new crave. So the, here's the dilemmas when you have an e-bike is where do you store it when you're traveling? In most cases, you put it in the on the back of your hitch and maybe you put a cover on it and you travel, but then when you get to the campground, it's dirty from the road grime. And then I can't tell you how many people have told us that they've lost them during transit with just the rough roads and terrain bouncing and the e-bikes fall off. And not only could you potentially hurt somebody that's behind you, but then also you're losing really expensive, expensive bikes. So that's one of the concerns. One of the other ones is once we get to the campground, where do we store the e-bike? Do we just put it out underneath the awning? Um, do we have a lock that we try to lock it to because they're expensive, so you don't wanna just turn around and set them out there and lose them. And then finally, the third is, where do we charge them? So did I run an extension cord to try to charge them? I don't have a dedicated spot. So we wanted to take this floor plan that we already know does really well, and then let's go ahead and make a tweak to it to make it fit the e-bikes. So if you're looking at this wall, this is another slide out. You got your entertainment center. And then behind this door, if we open this up, um, this actually has a spot for your e-bike. So a dedicated spot for your e-bikes. Um, we actually have them out testing around, they're running around with them right now, so we don't have them in here. But you can see they're they're staggered, so you can put two e-bikes there, they lock in place, and then from the outside I can show you how that actually functions. But there's also a dedicated charging spot in it too. So what it does is it gives you the spot for traveling. Where where do you travel your where do you put your e-bikes? You put them here. Where do you lock them in? You put them here. Where do you charge them? A dedicated spot right here. So it solves those issues that the customers were having before. Perfect, and then we'll we'll circle around outside, and that way we can show how it, how the functionality works. Yep. Okay, so we're working on this other side. So this is all one dedicated slide, which is for that e-bike. You have kind of a conventional um, door that's here. This will open up, big oversized door. This has got a magnet, so it locks into place once you're out. And then here's the rack. And so as we were just talking about e-bikes, I mean they're kind of heavy, right? And to try to be able to pick them up and put them in there, they're averaging about 50 to 60 pounds per bike. So you know, over a hundred pounds to try to lift it up um, on, the, on the light side. So what we did here is this little blue lever, you pull it and it slides out. And so this whole thing is on a tray and it slides out. The way this would work is if the bikes were in here, you've got your tires that strap right to here and that straps in and they strap on the front side. But once they flip down, this is all on a pivot and it goes all the way down to the ground. And so then there's a locking mechanism here to lock it in. You pull your bike in, hook it, hook it, and then you bring it back up. And then you can see once you get it to here, let's say your bikes are hitting here, you can see it's just a, I'm doing this with just a couple fingers and just slide it back in and it locks back into place. So now I've got both bikes that would be stored. And then there's also, I don't know if you can see, but inside that little cabinet, there's a there's one little additional piece that we locked the two bikes in together. So, okay. so then that way, yep, once they're locked in, the bikes won't rock back and forth. That'll lock them in. But really it's just two locking mechanisms. It's this one that slides it out and then this one that releases it up and down, but extremely easy, functional, and the weight of the bikes help too because it'll help pull this down with the tension and then it comes right back up. There's a charging station yep. there, and we'll invert it, so if you're going up, you can charge them too, that's right. Correct, yeah, so we have, we have seven dedicated recepts throughout the unit that are inverted, and we wanted to make sure that was one of them, so that way if you are boondocking or during transit, you can pull off the battery to charge that as well. We see a pantry, like we said before, you got a spot for your coffee maker and everything here. As we work up, you've got a little spot for coats or keys or anything here. And then bathroom, this is a new shower this year. So still one piece fiberglass shower, um, but we put kind of a little rainfall type look in it, but 
pulling, once again, pulling customers, they still want a true fiberglass one piece shower versus those two pieces that give you a spot for water to leak. So new shower here, new drain, um, just a little bit sleeker drain style here. And then, and then actual shower head itself has got multiple spots here. So you've got, you know, water to spray out here, wand and a tall spot here as well. Plenty of storage. This has got a, this has got a barn, barn style door that comes through here. Once we work into the bedroom, we have a king bed mixed with a padded headboard there. So you can actually sit up and read books or anything in bed with some overhead lights. You also have CPAP shelves on both sides and those have the inverted outlets mm -hmm. next to them with, um, with charging stations and everything right up there as well. And then as we pan over to the front, this is washer dryer. And, I, and obviously we put already vented doors in here too, louver doors. So if you do add a washer dryer, okay. but washer dryer prep here, you still have a shelf, hanging space, plenty of hanging space here. I mean, you can almost step into this, this um, closet. So it's a big closet here, plenty of storage here. And then also, a hamper, hamper, hamper storage too. Yeah. Yep. So a little spot for him. Yep. All right. Well, thank you, Nick, for showing us the Montana. My pleasure. E thank you. E bike model. What's, what's the exact model number? This is 3623 EB. So 3623 and then EB for e bike. So here we are at Switch It Ops spacecraft. Yes, it is. We yeah. built a spacecraft. Oh, it took a year to build this thing. That's it? Only a year? Only that, a be, be, year of our life. Be, before I go inside, tell me a little bit about it. What, what, we, how, how did you come up with this? It was created for our events. So we do these things called huddles across the United yes. States. We'll have three this year. So we were like, if we're going to do huddles and we're going to do all this stuff, we needed to have something that we could all sit outside. So we come up with this amazing RV that has an LED wall. It has concert system on it. We have um enduro batteries that we can use that we can be out in the desert we're 54 feet long we're 43,000 pounds 12,000 pounds on the tongue weight it's crazy yeah that's crazy you, you 30 kilowatts of solar so we have Th 30, 30 ki kilowatts which is oh. eight 300 watt enduro which? powered batteries and then they linked them together in 48 volts i just learned all this so uh, yeah, 30 well, kilowatt yeah then 40... we have the concert deck on top oh man that's because awesome. we bring in people to sing and then that goes to the concert system and then the led wall will be able to like do words or whatever so if we did a worship night or if we did whatever we wanted to do as we're doing different things yeah well, I'm, so. I'm i'm glad you got your dream uh oh, fifth wheel man this yeah. is awesome we had to bring in a bunch of sponsors to even come this together yeah. so yeah it's and, like, and you're pulling with a with a semi yeah what, so what, the what truck, is that? the truck was created by a gentleman here in town and his name is jesse is hall fabrication and hall haulers if you're looking to modify a truck so he did the whole bed so we can pull this. Wow. Yeah. It's, yeah. Because it's, it's, it's with, with this weight, you need something like that. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. I'm going to step inside and take a look at it. And yeah. good to see you again. All right. All right. Crazy. This is pretty unique. And uh, there's a bunch of people in here. So we're just going to do a, a quick uh, walk through. This is, of course, the master bedroom here. Hi, how you doing? Good. And. Uh, Look at that! It's, it's like uh, like our tempopedics almost. You know, you 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 have the his and hers. You can you know switch them up as you will. <laughs> it's a front bathroom, which is something you don't get to see as much in a fifth wheel. And this is very nice. I really like this. I mean, you could be eight feet tall here, no problem. <laughs> here in the front. We have, uh, of course, washer dryer. And I imagine this will be eventually some closet space and whatnot. Oh, you have a separate toilet. Here we go. Hmm, I wonder if Matt has been here. <laughs> All right, Dr. AC, of course, you wouldn't have it any other way. This is beautiful, but I like the, the, the decor in here. And as you can see, it is very crowded in here because this is probably one of the most popular uh, rigs here at the show this year just a quick look at the galley here and uh very nice net. i like this i like the and let's uh, take a look at the back here let's see what this is this is another half bath back here and uh here we go. No, it's. Uh, the, I believe this is locked. So, oh, there we go. 
here we are on the sun on the deck back here i don't know how this works i don't want to get stuck back here but um, yeah i wonder how you get up there so there's a skylight here i guess this is how you get to that sun deck you put a ladder here or something that's probably how it is well maybe we'll be back when it is less crowded and and take a closer look but this um these spacecrafts you know they are they are custom built to your specifications and uh this is the one that switch it up uh designed here all right <laughs> this this spacecraft today it feels like we are on a regular uh, rv show day because there's so many people up there <laughs> You think it might rain? Well, this is the kind of stuff that happens in Florida any time of the year. Getting a huge downpour here, just as I was get, getting ready to, to film some, some. Now we have the calm after the storm. Well, not so calm, but at least it's not raining. But now everything's wet. It, it kind of looks photogenic. Check it out. Okay, and when I'm gonna finish this first video of the uh, Florida RV Super Show 2024 edition here, I'm gonna show you where we're gonna do the meetup on Saturday at 12:30 uh, p.m. And it's in front of this uh, building called the Te Teco Arena, which is a supplier building. And uh, there's this uh, cute red barn here. It has a yellow sign. You can't miss a social media meet and greet building. And um, this is where all, non, not only me, all the, all the YouTubers, influencers that are coming here at the RV show are gonna, uh, most of us are gonna do the meetups here. So. Make sure to check it out. All right. One more time. Thank you for watching and see you on the road. I'm riding, riding in my